school. Yeah. How exciting. Good morning, Chloe. Good morning. Okay, we got to be getting ready to go. It's about that time. Hustle, 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 hustle. You read this morning, bud? Yeah. Good job. Kalia, you read? Yeah. Amira, yeah. you read? What'd y'all read? Psalms 91. Kalia, what'd you read? Psalms 91 and write the Psalms 27. Kayla, what did you read? Um, the house that God made. The house that God made. Yes. Okay, that's a good one. I like that one. I like all of them. All right, you guys, we got to be getting ready to go. Now, look at Miss Noel, you guys. She done went and put on Sophia's shoes. You have on Sophia's shoes? Huh? They're not even on the right feet. They're on the wrong feet, mamas. That is so funny. Come here. Let me see. Come here. <laughs> Are you ready for breakfast? Mm -hmm. Yes? Okay, I'm going to make you guys some oatmeal. Well, good morning, fam. So I am all done dropping all the kids off at school. And now it is I'm trying to find this oatmeal, y'all. And so we are back to our regular schedule. Everybody has started back to school from the winter break, including my including my husband. So he started back to school this week. And some of the kids started back last week. So let's see. Uh, Abigail, Naomi, Caleb, and Kalia all started back last week because the school they go to, they only get two weeks winter break, but then they'll, they will get, uh, their third week in February. So that's kind of nice that they break it up a little bit because they'll get a week off in February. And then they also get, um, spring break. So it's kind of nice that they, um, split it up and give them their third week. A little bit later so I'm here just gonna make the kids some oatmeal what is this I got the mom's best quick oats I'm gonna make some oatmeal for probably me too me Noel and Sophia I'm gonna put dates in mine a little bit of honey butter maybe bananas I'll see just a little healthy oatmeal and so let's see Back, we're back to our regular routine. Um, let's see. Oh, today is kind of a busy day for me. I need to pay some bills. I need to call the dealership for our Sprinter van. They had a recall on the airbags. I believe it's the front ones. They already replaced, I believe, the right side. They replaced the right side about four or five months ago. So they were waiting for the left side to come in. And so now I got a notice that I need to call to schedule an appointment for them to replace the left side airbag. So I need to do that today. Uh, Caleb starts basketball again. So he has his first basketball practice today. Um, it's a short day at school for Chloe and Amira. Uh, let me see what else I have to do today. I don't have to cook dinner, yay. I made spaghetti and garlic bread last night, so there will be leftover to do that. But y'all, I heard a good message yesterday from Cindy Jacobs. I don't know if any of you have heard of her, but I heard a good message yesterday from Cindy Jacobs. I'm walking so I can go upstairs in my prayer closet and get my notes that I took. It was a good message. Oh, and Miss Sophia's birthday is coming up at the end of the month. Oh, and my husband and I, our anniversary is also coming up this month. No, not this month. Our anniversary is next month. So we actually made reservations at the hotel we stayed at when we got married. We will be celebrating our 20th year anniversary. Woo hoo, I'm so excited. Like, this has been a good 20 years, honestly. 
So we made reservations to stay at the hotel that we stayed at when we got married. And we're going to stay in the same room. And uh, we made reservations at a restaurant that his niece recommended for us. And it's called Castaway. And it sits up on this hill. So you're, it's in Los Angeles. So it sits up on this hill. So you're overlooking the city of LA. So I booked us reservations for that last night. And we're fairly going to have an early dinner. And I told my husband the reason why is because I want to see the sunset because it sits up on a hill. I'm like, no, it would be so beautiful just to be up there having dinner when the sun is setting. So I booked our reservation for five, five o'clock. So, but anyway, the message that Cindy Jacobs was talking about yesterday was restoration, restitution, and reset. So basically, she was saying that we need to stop. Um, we need to, okay, let me see. The notes that I wrote is, is I, if I put, stop blaming God. It's the thief Satan that steals. We have the right to tell Satan, you owe me sevenfold. And then she said, um, like, some of us, some of us feel like we're living in abundance because we're able to pay our bills. And she said, no, she said, paying your bills is not abundant, especially if you don't have nothing left over. So I was like, ooh, that's a good word. So she, it was really good. And so she read out of um, Isaiah 61 and 7. Let me see. Also, um, Psalms 105, 17 and 19, Psalms 37 and 25, which is one of my favorite scriptures, which says, um, it's David where he says, I have been old and now I'm young. He said, yet have I never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. That is one of my good, I love that scripture. She also was saying, draw a line in the sand and tell Satan no, you can't. She said, like a lot of times we'll quote, we quote the scripture, John 10 and 10, which says the thief comes, uh, the thief comes, but to steal, kill and to destroy. She said, but a lot of times we forget the scripture after that, which says, what are you trying to do, mama? You can't take that up. That's your pajama. Here, you want to take your hat off and you want to take those shoes off? Take them off. You can't do it. Sit down. Oh, you did it. Good job. And so she was saying, but a lot of times we, for, we forget the scripture after, which says, but. See that? That's but. I love God, y'all, because he always leaves a way out for us. No matter what. He don't never leave us in our mess or in um just not good circumstances god always y'all he always leaves a way out so it says but i have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly so she was saying write down everything that the enemy has stolen from you she said like she said, especially if it's been like a repeated behavior, like a be. She said, especially if it's been something that's been repeatedly. She said, if it's your, um, if it's your finances. She said, your family, your job. She said, if it's been where, if you've been in a situation where, let's say, for instance, something's constantly breaking down. So, for example, you get this fixed. Um, you pay to get this fixed and then turn around. Something else needs fixing. She said, if that's you, she said, draw a line in the sand. She said, and tell Satan, no, you can't. She said, but also the word of God also tells us that if the thief be found, he shall repay sevenfold. She said, and we need to start telling the enemy, you owe me sevenfold. You stole from me and you owe me sevenfold. So she said, God is bringing restoration then there's restitution. What is restitution? Restitution is something you pay for damages that have been done. So the enemy, that's where that sevenfold come in. 
And then she said, reset. It's time to reset. It's time to reset and focus on God and stop. Oh, yeah. Um, she said, and we need to stop blaming God for the things that the enemy is doing. Draw a line in the sand and tell the enemy, no, you cannot. Not anymore. No, not this year. It stops here. So the word was really good. I actually, um, uh, okay, I wrote down. Oh, she said also, uh, we can decree no weapon formed against me or my family shall prosper. She said, decree, this is the year of joyful increase. So, um, oh, and then she said, we have to forgive, walk in forgiveness. Um, basically, decree, forgive, and take. Um, let me see, what else did she say? Walk in authority and work the word. She said, we have to learn how to work the word. Because if we work the word, the word will work for you. But we have to work the word. So, um, yeah. So, it was it was a beautiful word. I'm going to leave it in the description box if you guys would like to watch it. So, I decided that I'm going to watch it every day. Um, it's just a good message. She talks about fasting in the message. Um just a beautiful word. Oh, she talks about uh, when you get a prophetic word, how a lot of times we have to war over the prophetic word that we're given, that it don't always just happen. You have to, you know, you have to um, fight for it. So it was just a good message. It was just like an on-time message. So I just say, you know what? I'm going to keep watching it. A little I'm gonna watch it multiple times until I really get it in my spirit and get those scriptures and stuff down because it's just good you know we all need that um, what is it that refilling all of us need a refill this is a daily walk and a continual in filling so sometimes your tank get a little low and it needs to be filled back up so I'm gonna purpose for me to just Keep listening to the message until I feel like I got it, I got it, I got it. And so I don't know who needed to be here. I don't know who needed to hear that word today, but you be encouraged. God's got you. Get in his word and work the word and the word will work for you. But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to get on here and just say hi. You guys have a blessed and beautiful day. And as always, you are fearfully and wonderfully made and everything else the word of God says you are. You guys have a blessed day and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.